Well, there is new information today about the test to stay program and Western New York's biggest school district. Yeah, Buffalo Public Schools have joined the program, but will not be implementing it in the classroom, at least not yet. Join your side's Kelly Dudzik joins us now with the reasons behind that decision. Hey, Kelly. Hi, Scott and Mary Alice. At this point, it's about staffing and logistics, but the district signed up so it can start getting the test kits needed to fully launch the program in the classroom. The team of medical professionals and educators making these decisions came to the conclusion that the test to stay program is necessary. The district has the license needed in order to participate and the medical director that's needed, but staffing is an issue when people are out sick and you're talking about more than 30,000 students and 8,000 staff members. As a reminder, test to stay allows unvaccinated students and staff to stay in the classroom instead of having to quarantine for five days if they're a close contact of somebody else who tests positive in the classroom. So staffing is one issue. Here's the other one. Because we have such a large school district, you know, we're the second largest school district in New York State. And so we want to make sure that we are continuously receiving enough test kits to accommodate, you know, the 30,000 plus students that we have and the 8,000 plus staff that we have. So other than those two things, um, the team meets, the medical advisory team meets, we're operationalizing how we're going to implement it. We are on board, we've ordered the test kits. And so as soon as we can get stabilized staffing, um, we're ready. And if anybody in your family is not vaccinated yet or needs another dose, there is a vaccine clinic happening right now until 7 o'clock tonight at the International School. Students need a parent's permission to be tested for this test to stay program and districts can join the program at any time. Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.